All right, today we're going to learn how to build a website to house our uh, tech integration tasks that we're going to accomplish over the next couple of weeks. And this is a skill that you can share with your teachers to build digital portfolios, to build websites, whatever you can do uh, to help not only your teachers, but to help those teachers help their students as well and uh, it's a real simple skill and I think everybody should be able to master it quickly. First you're going to open up a Chrome browser. When you open up a Chrome browser it automatically comes out to a Google page. If you look up here you want to make sure you're signed in. If you're not signed in you just click on the little icon there it says sign in and you can see all the different accounts I have. All of these accounts have access to those um, free add-ons right here that we could just pick and choose we'll be using sites so the first thing is you have to sign in make sure you're using a, an account that you can remember and so if you're going to use your personal one or if you're going to use the one with the uh, school that you're with make sure that you know which one you're in because that will not follow you click on the waffle button right there sites Now that you've opened up Sites, you can come over here to New Google Sites. Here's some that I've already made. I'm going to come right here and make a new one. Now I can title it really simple. And I want everybody to use Tech Integration. or coaches tasks oops task Garza now I can move that around I can do any number of things while I'm in this edit mode I can make it small I can make it big I can move it if I wanted to any number of places on this side I can make it bigger which is what I want to do make sure it takes up all that space I'm going to name it here which will be what it's filed under let's go ahead and make it our name give it that little acronym right there to remind us what the site was for it'll automatically save it right there now I can vary the look here so I can change my header type that's title only that's small banner that's big banner I can come over here change the image I can simply select an image if I want Actually, let me change my header type, make it a little bit more easier for you guys to see. So I can change the image, say if I don't like that, I can come select an image. And they have in the gallery, they have some pre-made ones that you can choose from. Uh, I would suggest sticking with these because these are the ones that uh, are going to fit a little bit better without any kind of additional editing. Um, because we're talking about tech integration, I guess I will go with this guy. And you can choose any one you want. And also, you have other options of pulling it by the URL. So if you have a picture off the internet that you really like, post the URL right there and it'll pull it straight in. You can search, you know, pictures of computer teachers, whatever. Your albums, you might have something that you already like that you want to use. So let's say I want to use that guy select it and now it comes up that easy it adjusts for readability to make sure it's something easy for everybody to read and if I were to change my header type back to large that's what I would have but I kind of like that other one the middle one so I'm there 
So I have my landing page right off the bat. It's super easy. Um, we'll learn how to add stuff to this, but right now this is really our first task. It's where we're going to put down all of our information. We have about 30 little activities we're going to have to do, and we can put them all here. It's something that when we're done, it'll be easy for us to look at and to check and make sure all the tasks have been accomplished. But more importantly, when you're done, you have a, a skill, a usable skill. It's not just, you know, checking off boxes of things you've done. And you have something that uh, can show off the work that you have done. So it's a nice little uh, everybody wins scenario. The last thing I need to show you is how to share this. If you were to share this link right here, you actually would be giving it to me and I'd be able to change the stuff. So we don't want to share this link. Notice that little edit at the end. We want to publish, and it usually will kick out a name for you automatically. If it doesn't, no big deal. This will be the start of the URL, and you just type in the last part. I'm going to type in D Garza, and it'll start to tell me if that's acceptable. Like no one else has that, so sites, google.com, g. whatever, Garza, and I'm going to add the little suffix of T I C T. So it's my little website. Oh, that address has already been taken, so I must have already did that. So come back over here, and then I'll just do tech integration. Looks like that one's good. I publish, and we're good. Now, if I want to share it, I come up here and I share this link. And if I wanted to show either the person that's checking my progress or if I want to just show uh, one of my kids, hey, look, I made a website. I hit there, copy the link. If I open up a new browser, I paste it, hit enter. Right there, that's what my website looks like. Notice the difference between this URL. There's no edit at the end. So this is the one I want to make sure I share. This one, see how there's edit at the end? That's the one that I'm working on. So if I were to share this, and if I were to share it with people, they would be able to actually work on my page, which I would not want that. And that's it. That's your, the beginning of your task. Uh, feel free to come over here and play with themes, uh, pages, or that you will learn how to add pages here in a second. And everything else we will learn about. So congratulations on completing your first step.